hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is Inka so in today's class we're going to be making a V yoke cow kaftan for this tutorial you'll be needing four yards of fabric and if you're going to be using a separate piece for the yoke you'll be needing like half yard to do that so I'm going to be using Ankara for my yoke so but if you're not using a separate piece for the yoke four yards is enough for you but if you are going to be mixing it the way i'm going to be doing today so it means you need half yard of another fabric it must not necessarily be ankara you understand what i mean so but any fabric you're needing you need half yard of that half yard should do all right so but majorly you need just four yards even if you're tall i believe the four yards will still be enough so on the average you need four yards all right so let's get into it so i'm going to be drafting the yoke first that's the first thing i'm going to be doing so i'm going to be drafting the yoke first before we cut the cow itself so i'll be doing that so for the yoke first you fold the fabric into two this way fold your fabric into two then you fold again into four this fabric is folded into four so the next thing i need to do is to rule a starting point for my pattern the next thing i'm going to do now is for me to measure the width that you want for the neckline so in my own case i want the weight of my neck to be four inches so starting from this folded part here i'm going to measure four inches it's and then i'm going to also measure the depth for my neckline i want my neck depth to be six and a half inches so starting from this guideline i'm going to measure six and a half inches then i'm going to connect it together it's a v neck so just place your uh, ruler this way and connect it together can you see like this so this is the neck width and this is the neck depth our v neckline is ready the next thing now is to determine how wide you want the yoke to be so i'm going to be measuring three and a half inches all around this neckline just like you want to cut out a facing exactly that's what you're gonna do you measure three and a half all around the neckline this way three and a half like this then you are going to connect all the points together make sure you blend it well can you see just like you are cutting out a facing mm. so the yoke is almost ready but you know normally we always slant our shoulder you don't want the shoulder to be just square you want it slanted so the next thing you need to do is to measure one inch from where the measurement stops here just measure one inch like this and then come to the center front you measure three inches inward like this so that you can just slant the shoulder so after slanting you had half inch upward for your seam allowance i believe we already know we always add half inch for the seam allowance of shoulder so our yoke is ready the next thing is just for us to cut it out all right so this is our yoke you can see the way it is you know we normally slant the shoulder so that this because our shoulder is not square so i've slanted it the next thing now is for us to cut it out and when you're cutting out you cut from your neckline this way and then you cut around also this way just like you're cutting out a facing exactly so i'll go ahead now and cut it out and you will also need to cut out lining for this thing that you are cutting out because 
so that you can finish the neckline nicely you can use, either use the same fabric for the lining or you use fabric lining all right so let's go ahead and cut it can you see this is our wire yoke so if you open it you will have two pieces so if you open it, you have two pieces for the yoke. You have two pieces. So one will be for the front and the other will be for the back. All right, so what you need to do now is for you to cut lining for this, exactly the same shape. You cut out lining for it. Or you can use the same fabric also as the lining. All right, so instead of you cut out lining, I mean fabric lining, or you cut out the same fabric as your lining and you can decide to cut everything together if you're using the same fabric because that's what i usually do but because i am trying to illustrate so you can just fold the fabric into eight instead of four so that you can cut it together at once fabric has my lining so i use i use exactly half yard for both the main uh, yoke and also for the lining all right so we have four pieces now we are going to be using one to line the other because one will be for the front and the other will be for the back so you'll be using one to line the other and like i said you can use fabric lining instead of using the same material for the lining all right so that is just it the next thing we are going to be doing now is to cut out the cow now is to measure the length of your yoke so that you can subtract that from your total length in order to cut out the the rest of the of the style so what you need to do let me look for that one that we shocked this is the one that we shocked this is where our shock is so the next thing you need to do is to measure the length of this yoke starting from your allowance you can see the shock for my allowance here. so place your tape on that line you know we we already had a half inch for shoulder joining here so measure from half inch below the starting point here measure half inch from this place just put your tape measure there and measure the total length that you have for your yoke the total length that i have for my yoke is 11 and a half inches 11 and a half inches all right starting from here to this point you measure the length that you have all right so starting from this point to the tip of the yoke here you measure the length that you have measure the length that you have in my own case i have 11 and a half inches 11.5 inches can you see this is the tip of the v here so that is 11 and a half all right so if you subtract 11.5 inches from my total length my total length is 60 inches so 60 minus 11.5 that's going to give us 48.5 inches 48.5 inches so the remaining length of my gown is 48.5 inches you place your fabric into four folds this way so my fabric is folded into four one two three and then four all right my fabric is folded into four. I'm going to measure, starting from the hem of your dress, measure the remaining length of your gown upward. Don't start the measurement from the top. Measure the remaining length of your gown from the lower part, from this point here, from the hem line, just measure upward the remaining length of your gown. Mine is 48.5 inches. So I'm going to add one inch to it for my seam allowance. And that's going to be 49.5 inches so i'm going to measure 49.5 inches upward so i will note that point all right so the next thing bring up bring back your yoke you measure this area of your yoke you know this is the neckline of our yoke then this outer edge this outer part of the yoke make sure it whatever you have there here i have 13 inches all right i have 13 inches so in an angle from this center front measure that 13 inches in an angle like this then because it's going to be having some pleats you're going to be pleating it you can either double this 13 inches or you just add extra 10 inches to it in an angle so if i have 10 inches to 
13 that's going to give me 23 inches so i'll look for how i can get 23 inches like in an angle like this can you see the way i've done it in an angle like this so i'll measure 23 inches so i'll rule it because we are going to be pleating it so the rest is going to be your sleeve length the rest that you the rest of the measurements you have here is going to be your sleeve length or right. i can get my get 23 inches So this is my 23 inches. What I need to do is just to put, pl place my uh, ruler here. From here, I'll just connect it to this point. So that's going to be the part that I'm going to be pleating to the yoke. All right. So after that, you can determine how long you want your sleeve to be. It's not really a long sleeve. So whatever is remaining here, I'll just use it as my sleeve length. Whatever is remaining here, I'm going to be using it as my sleeve length or length, all right? But if you want a very long sleeve, it means four yards will not be enough for you because you can see the total I have at this upper edge is just 36 inches. So if you want a very long sleeve, you can decide to add more yardage to whatever you are using. You can decide to use maybe like five yards or you can fold the fabric the other way around. All right, but ever since I've been doing this, I've been using four yards, irrespective of how tall the person is. I've always used four yards. So, but I'm just teaching you the basics now, so you can decide to tweak it to your own taste and preference. All right. So, so this is it. So from here to here, I'm going to connect it together that's going to be the area that i'm going to be pleating for this my style there'll be no joining in front but if you have been following me you've been seeing the ones i've been doing that it always have joining in front reason being that most of those ones don't have sides joining i don't usually join the sides so if you want to see a tutorial on that one this particular one here let me know in the comment section so that i can make a tutorial on that also all right so the next thing you're going to be doing now is to measure from the upper part here okay. just measure 33 inches downward like this so on this line you input your hip circumference measurement divided by four plus extra five inches you can do your hip circumference measurement divided by four plus three inches plus four inches plus five inches depending on how free you want it at the lower part if it's less than plus three inches it will be very difficult for you to walk except you're going to put slits by the side all right so on this line i'm going to put my hip circumference measurement divided by four plus extra five inches you can do extra four inches you can do extra three inches depending on what you want but it should not be less than three inches if not, it will be very difficult for you to walk. So, my hip circumference measurement is 42 divided by 4. That's going to be 10.5 plus 5 inches. That's going to be 15.5. So, on this line, I'm going to measure 15.5. And I will rule it straight down to the end of the dress. The next thing now is for you to input your sleeve opening at this edge. Starting from this upper part, you measure your round sleeve measurement divided by 2 plus allowance. This sleeve here is 10 inches. So divided by 2, that's going to be 5. Then I'll add my seam allowance because, you know, I'm still going to be joining the shoulder. So I'm going to make that to be 7 inches. So from the top, I measure seven inches here. Seven inches, those, that's going to be my sleeve opening. So the next thing now is for you to form your cow. So from this point, you, you just cuff your hand like the way I'm showing now and get a nice cuff like this to that point that you have at your sleeve opening. Can you see? Then we can cut it out. Oh. So 
this is it you can see the way it is don't forget to notch the center here notch the center so what you need to do now is for you to take to the sewing machine and then you are going to be pleating here to fit to this yoke fills my yoke with stay as you can see my yoke is fills with stay on only one side so i'll place right side to right side and then i'll take to the sewing machine to join so you're going to be stitching the neckline only the neckline you do the same thing to the second side you stitch together on the neckline also is to make sure you notch the center of the v so that it can come out sharp but then you turn it to the right side make sure you notch it so the next thing now is to turn it to the good side and then you are going to press it so you turn it to the good side and iron it so what you need to do now is to mark where you want the pleating to be we measure six inches to the left then also mark six inches again this way so that's the area that your pleat is going to be the, this is the lower part of our dress and remember we notch the center of the v area so if you open it you have something like this can you see you know it's into two pieces one will be for the front and the other will be for the back so let me take one out so that i can use the other to explain it better to us so you take to the sewing machine make sure you pin the center together you pin to the center together and then you're going to be pleating you pleat from this point to that six inches that you mark that is you place this one here like this don't forget it's going to be right side to right side so take to the sewing machine you join from this point from the tip here you join all to that six inches mark that you have on the yoke and then you are going to place the rest you're going to be pleating the rest like this then the same thing goes to the second side start the joining from the shoulder when you get to this your six inches mark you're going to be pleating all the remaining excess to that point all right so i'll go to the sewing machine and i will show you how i'm going to do it for both the front and the back so this is my v yoke place this part that you know at the center of the bv Place them together, right side to right side, and pin. Pin it like this. You can see this is the edge, edge here. Match the edge also together. Match this edge together with the edge here, like this. And pin. So when you get to your six inches point, the remaining excess that you have, you can see them, you can see the remaining excess. Make sure you pleat it, make sure you distribute it evenly and pleat it till you get to the center of the V. go to the center of the v keep your needle in lift the foot up and then rotate so that you can sew to the second side you can still see the ss at the second side so you continue to pleat
all right so i'm done stitching everything together and then you can see this is how it's looking can you see the way it's looking so we are done with one side you repeat the same thing to the second side so that you can join the shoulder close the side and hem the bottom part So I'm done with the two of them. You can see this is the way it's looking. And I've also weave I've weaved the the joining here. I've weaved it. Can you see? So the next thing you are going to do now is to place front and back together. Right side to right side. And you're going to be joining it together on the shoulder with half inch allowance. So then after joining, you're going to be closing the side. Make sure you hem your sleeve, but I'm going to be cutting another Ankara fabric. I'm just going to be attaching to this sleeve area. So I'm done joining the shoulders together. This is the sleeve area. So I've cut out strip of fabric that I'm going to be attaching to the sleeve opening. The width of this unfold is one and a half inch. It's just one and a half inch unfold. And the length is the length of my sleeve opening here. So the next thing now is to close the side. It's to close the side seam. All right, so the next thing is to arm the bottom part. And then our gown is ready.